Hey everybody, welcome on back to the channel. Being Chris here with yet another build. Yes, we are building some more. I'm gonna put up some screenshots real quick so you can see kind of what I want to build here in The Sims 4 today. So if you are new to the channel, welcome on in. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome on back. I hope everybody is enjoying Lovestruck. It is a beautiful world. I'm still finding out more things about this pack. We found out about Blue Bear and that there's a quest. It's very interesting. So we're on a lot here in um, Sudad in a Murata. We're at the Calais de Ensueno, Ensueno uh, lot, which is a very nice lot to build on, especially if you don't want to load in screen to go to the park across the street to fish in the heart-shaped pond. Did you know that? Did you know that? So we are playing with my Sim Charlie, who is on a mission to find out why Blue Bear is blue. But in the meantime, I decided that I wanted to jump on in to a build. So we're gonna build. We are going to build a little like village type thing. So I'm gonna see if I can cheat some money in. Let's cheat some money. We can't cheat some money. So I'm going to fix that in one second. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, so we are back. And today I wanted to let you all know that I'm going to do pack restrictions. So with our packs, I thought would be perfect. The packs we're using is base game, city living, for rent, and love struck. They're the first four packs, actually three packs that we are going to use. And with that being said, my friends, if you would like to help support a creator, you can help support Chris here and the channel at no extra cost by using my promo code, just being Chris on the EA app or the sims.com. You can purchase as many packs as you like. We're going to be working with uh, for rent love struck. So you will see how well even city living goes well with these packs here. That's a lot, that's a lot to say. So we have our cheats on. We have our one little house right here. So this house is a little rundown, right? So what I would like to create in this pack here, we have over 100,000, which I wish I had 100,000 in my pocket. We are going to build kind of like a courtyard um, between some more houses. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, just we're gonna put like another one in. And I love the fact, see, I saw this. I saw, let me let me go over here. Let me show you all what I, what I saw. <laughs> I will pop a picture right here. I love how these stairs are going up. So they're not all the way out, but they're kind of like built into the house. So they're, that's, that's really cool. I like that a whole lot. Let's put a platform up here. So you can see, so that is really cool. These stairs come with Lovestruck. I love how Lovestruck and For Rent go very well together. I'm loving it. And with For Rent, if you want that grimy feel to a house, you can add in the rug, you can add in the tile. There is some really nice wallpaper here, but it can be a little bit too, you know, gaudy for you or you know, we have newspaper in our bathroom. So this house could be like, you know, not so nice. So we're gonna go on over here. We do have a crystal tree. I'm gonna put this over here. I am going to put another house over here and we're gonna kind of just try to do, I'm gonna try to do something a little different. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger, but I want to see if I can create stairs that kind of go out and then in like that. Like, hold on, like that, yes. Wait, over here, there we go, there we go. That is cool. So I can put a wall here and a wall here, here as well, and here. I, I think I like that. Do you see where I'm going with that? That is so cool. Uh, we're gonna go over here and build another, uh, part right there just so we can kind of get this house looking now these can be anything you want do you want to use it as an apartment you can use it as an apartment I'm going to start our apartment here and then I'm gonna bring it over this way because I want my sim to have enough room to get from the stair to the door all right 
and let's create that. So there's only, is there only one way? Hmm, we might be able, let me move that back a little bit more because that's gonna be like one apartment. Now for the other apartment, we could, not apartment, I keep saying apartment, but it doesn't have to be an apartment. This can be just a one, you know, another house or whatever. So we have that. And then up here, I kind of want to make it a little bit of a balcony. So let's put our, we still have our packs, which is great, right? We do. I would like to put in the mega fence maybe. Let's see, can we put the mega fence in? Cause I kind of want to go with the vibe of this world. So that could be like a little balcony. All right, and then over here, I'm not sure what I want to do with that just yet, but I'm going to go with city living. Let's put like a little gate there. And I think I'm going to put a platform or a, let's do a square, a flat tile. Let's put a flat tile here. Oops, I don't know what I just did. I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go over this way because I want to make it kind of an overhang if we can. All right. And I will do that. I think I will have to go in a little bit more. All right. So that's like a little overhang. And maybe I will, maybe I'll use... I think I might want to, I don't know if I want to put a roof because a lot of these don't have roofs. So let's put another, I'm going to put another little section right here, a little house, a little um, room. Maybe, I don't know what we're going to use it. Maybe this will be like laundry room or something like that, a laundry room. Now, if you look over in the back, you can see that they just have um, roof sculptures so let's see what we can find we can put that there um we can actually put this one here and can we size this one down yeah let's size it down a little bit so if you go to the little bracket there you go but can we let me get rid of this one um we can also use half walls too. So if you want to use a half wall, we can go, I think it's like the second one in. You can use a half wall. That's pretty cool. So you have some kind of, yeah. Now I might be able to bring, now let's get rid of that. We don't want that. All right, so that's just a thought, like a thought of what I was thinking and for the roof, I'm just going to make it a little bit higher and let's do a exterior uh, trim and I'm going to go with like a green. Oops. Can I, how can I, I guess I can't with that. Do I have to go a little bit higher? Wait, let's get rid of the roof, rid of the roof. I mean, whatever it's called. How come I can't get the, because maybe, uh, here we go. How come I can't put this there? Um, okay, we can use this one. This is from Tomarang for rent. I can use that. Let's use that. We'll use that. And then for the bottom part over here, I think I'm gonna go a little bit taller too. There we go. And I'm gonna use like a blue maybe. For that side, Th these, I'll tell you, if you're not like perfect with what, with how you place these, you can get totally, I will have to say. So let me put my, to my overhang real quick. Let's take that back. Let's go back over there. Okay. And I think I'm going to bring this in and then I'm just going to do my little overhang. I'm going to do it right here. There we go. And I can use like a pillar of some sort or whatever. But yeah, that is a lot. That's a lot. Let's go over to our columns I met. So we have some, um, we have a wooden support column. That one's kind of pretty, but we also have the um, glowing wood pain pillar. Nope. Pa yeah, pain. P-A-N-E. Pain. We also have poised and pastel. Let's check that one out. I don't know. Can I? Nope, I can't do that. So I am learning this as we go. I think we're just going to go with that one. All right. Like a little porch right there. I'm going to add in a little uh, half wall if I can. If I can go like this. All right. 
and then I'll add another one in right there and you can switch them. I'm gonna copy and put, can I put right there? Oh, that actually worked. All right, so that's, hopefully we can get up the stairs, hopefully. So that is an idea. I will have to figure out the whole like roof thing. Like if you look over here, this is kind of what I want to make. I kind of want to do like a replica of these. I should actually take a picture. Let's take a picture. <laughs> so let's go and take a look. All right, so I put in the half walls and I put some trim on there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be creative and we're gonna grab some windows. So let's go to City Living, For Rent and Love Struck and let's see what small windows we have. So I was thinking the secret maze windows, we can go here, 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 and here. And then for over this side, can I use, is there another window? I may not, let me see if I can, I can try to see, oh, here we go. We could use like this. We can go here, oops, here and here. Let's see, let's fix that real quick. So you kind of get like a little bit of a decoration with those walls there. So we have that and then we are going to, I'm going to try to put a, uh, a platform up top to kind of give it a trim, like a roof trim. So let's go here and then I will put this one here. There we go. All right. And let's go to our platform trims. There we go. And can we get, yes, let's use, Let's choose one, like a, like a beige color or a tan color. All right, we have that. And next we're gonna put in a door. And you know, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised with, if we go to just Love Struck real quick, right? We only have short doors. We don't have any medium doors. We don't have any tall doors. We just have medium. I'm sorry, short one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. And then we have um, two arches. So I'm gonna go with this one right here and I'm gonna go with the black one. I'm gonna put the black one here or maybe I'll scoot it over a little bit. So we're gonna scoot, I'm gonna scoot this over if I can. Scoot that over here. And then for our window, I am gonna put in a window with kind of like a opening. I like that. Let's go here. This actually might be a little bit too tall. Let's lower that down a little bit. Can I lower that down? I can. Let's lower that down. And then I'm gonna go, these windows are, I feel like they're just too big. They're too big. So I'm gonna go and grab maybe a green one and put that there. Let's take a look. Okay, I think we're doing good. And then for the roof um, top, let's see. Can I, I can't use that. But if we go to uh, the flooring, I might be able to do like this. I think I like that. And we can switch the bottom here. Let's do this, 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 this. Okay. And I want to make these two buildings look different from one another. So I'm gonna go with our, if you go to the worn plastered wall, that looks really cool. It gives it like that aged look. So I'm gonna go with the red. I'm gonna go here and here, and then we're gonna go around. Okay, and if you really wanted to get fancy, you could put some brick in there. Let's make sure we have that exactly where, yep, right where we need to be. And I might just do, I don't wanna do too much. I don't wanna really get it uh, to be matching. So let's go with like maybe a gray. I'll go with a gray. All right, now you can put some roof decor up there, but let's go back on over to um, for rent and city living base game. There we go. Cause we can put one of these up here if we want it to. And the solar water heater, fully operational. Okay. Um, the This fully operational solar water heater or water, whichever way you want to say it, is the perfect low maintenance option if you want warm water and also to make water utility usage more efficient, but only when the sun is out. So we could put this up here, I guess, you know, like it's 
not bad. All right. Now for our houses, let's get rocking and rolling. I would like to put some of our different, I want to try something different. So I want, I love these shutters right here. They are for rent. Fisherman's slate windows. I believe that's for rent, right? Is it? I think it is. Yep, they are, and they're so pretty. So we're gonna put three there, and then I think I'm gonna put three on the bottom as well, right? To kind of get a little tiny bit of privacy, and you can always switch the colors up. They have so many different colors we can do. Let's try a pink. Let's try a pink, get that going. All right, now I'm gonna make this a little bit lower. Can I make it lower? Am I gonna lose my stairs? I did not lose my stairs, all right, good. Let's bring that down. All right, and for the other side, let's use the bigger windows that came with Love Shock, which I'm not a fan of, I'm gonna be totally honest. I think they should have been in the medium, the medium category. They just, they look like they're medium. They don't look like they would belong in the small. Let me know if you agree. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna put two here. Let's do this. Let's do two and two. Are they really close to each other? Actually, that doesn't look bad. Can we switch the color out though? Let's do, oh, the teal is pretty, yes. I might actually have to move them. I'll move them over a little bit more so they're closer to, but they are sticking out. They're sticking out a little bit. Maybe I'll just do one and then, I'll do one here and then I'll do two on the bottom or maybe three on the bottom. I don't think that looks bad. Hmm. Definitely have to bring that down a little bit. All right. Okie doke. Okay. And let's grab, I'm going to grab some more from Love Struck. I'm going to see if I can go with one right here and here. Try to keep it even and right here and right here. And I haven't gotten to the back yet, so we'll get to the back, but let's pick out our door. So we are gonna go get a door. Um, I like the stonework ornate door. But we also have the Grand Grandoir gateway. They have some really pretty colors. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to use a door up here. Okay, we'll make it like that. So they kind of match the windows or maybe not. Maybe that's too matchy matchy. Maybe a yellow. We'll do a yellow to kind of bring out this door right here. And for our exterior, we used a little bit up here, but I think I'm going to go over to for rent and see what we have. We don't really, let's see what we have for rent. So we have the stucco in basic colors. So you can do like a red, we can do a red or like a burgundy color, a dark brownish reddish color. Let's put that there. And for city living, let's see what else. So we have a little bit of brick. We can totally do a brick. There are, yeah, let's, let's do a brick. We're gonna do this one over here and I'm gonna go in the back. The back is brick, but this um, over here, it's a little hard. Um, let's try a different color. We're gonna try to go back on over to Lovestruck and see, cause they have a vibrant Casa exterior. And these colors right here, I love. They are so beautiful. All right, I wanna go here. Let's go here. It might be a little bit too bright, but I think it's going to um, it's going to be fine because I'm going to use another color up top. All right, so we have that, and maybe we can use a brick. Maybe I'll go back on over to City Living, or maybe just copy what we have already have. <laughs> I will copy that. Yeah, let's copy that to kind of give it a brick. I don't know, I might just do all this brick right here. I think I gotta get in there. I like how the um, the staircase is kind of hidden. Yes. Now, do we wanna do brick over here as well? I think we can, and then I can put make this brick. That, and that, that, that. Okay, right, that's base game. Let's go back on over to Lovestruck. And do we use, 
I think I'm gonna use this pink color. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go and be creative. That didn't help, that didn't help at all, right there. Let's see, that way. Let's cover all that up. Definitely is not gonna, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but if we don't like it, we can change it. I'm just trying to grab all we can. It's a little hard. I feel like we keep going up on this slot. Okay, that might have been maybe I'll just make that um let's do let's do this this color I think yeah let's do it that I think okay what happened to our window there our window is good all right and we might have to change up these columns too let's see can we make it to white maybe all right all right and we put the purple Change that to brick. Nice. We can totally put a window right there. So let's see what kind of window. Let's go to city living. I don't think city living came, we did have like this window, but that's underneath the staircase there. So maybe I'll put like a mailbox. Let's go to four rent real quick. Let's put a mailbox in if we can. Here we go, we can put that there. Can we get a different kind of mailbox? Yes, the green one doesn't look bad. All right, so um, let's take a look at our, I want to see if I can change that and get it like, give it like maybe a red. Get some trim, that's always a good thing. I think it kind of definitely helps. Hopefully we have all that. Oops. We can't, of course, do the stairs, but that's all right. I wish we could move this lamp right here. Let's take a look at what it would look like if we were to upload it up to the gallery. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. It's not looking bad, but it is kind of like we might have to upgrade this one, but this isn't bad. Um, I might go ahead and like have to move. Maybe, can I move the lot over a little bit? Let's see, can I, oh, I didn't wanna, oh my gosh, I almost bulldozed it. That wouldn't have been good. Let's scoot this over a little bit like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is turn this video into a little bit of a time-lapse. We're gonna go ahead and build a bottom part of the house and then a top part. And I'm gonna think about maybe, just maybe entering in laundry day. I think that would be fantastic. So let's do it, friends. Through the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We want to chase the night.
All right, everybody, I'm just hopping on in to say goodbye and thank you all for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you would like for me to furnish these houses. I think it would be a lot of fun, but also a lot of work, but I don't mind. I love creating new homes for you all to download on the gallery. Speaking of the gallery, you can follow me on the EA gallery, Just Being Chris, as well as using my promo code Just Being Chris on the EA app or thesims.com when you will purchase any Sims 4 DLC or bundle. All right, friends, thank you once again. Have a great day. I'm having a blast doing these builds, and I will see you very soon. Bye.